one thing that I wanted to ask you, and if you've got not got a good answer, I know how we can segue out of it, is uh, Jeff Jarrett has already gone from WWE. He was like live events coordinator. Mm-hmm. And apparently a Bruce Pritchard hire. Do you know anything about why he was let go so quickly? Did we talk about this last week or no? No. Okay. Jeff Jarrett, who I've known him since he was 14, He's got a good mind from the business. He's old school. And it surprised me when they hired him because he was a Vince hire and maybe a Bruce Pritchard hire too. But when Triple H took over, he looked over his team and that wasn't his hire. So if it's not his hire, it's from a previous administration then that raises red flags right there. And I don't think there's any heat between Triple H and Jeff. I don't think so. But I think that he wanted to put his team back in, on the field. And one of his teammates for years was Road Dog. And Road Dog got let go by Vance's administration. And I'm sure there's been a lot of telephone calls between the two and Road Dog is saying, why? Why did I get let go? And which was a good question, why ever, what everybody was asking, too. Why did he let go? But I think Triple H, to get his friend back into the fold, because he trusts, he trusts Road Dog. He's his, what can we say, confidant. Mm-hmm. And he knows a lot about the business. And he may have taught Triple H a lot about the business, but Triple H feels... Uh, well represented by having road dog on his team and and who knows what happened he, it could have been that he was looking for a job for road dog to get him back in and like i said i don't think there's any heat between jeff and and triple h that i know of but jeff he knows how the game goes you get, what what i said earlier today you get hired <laughs> to get fired And so when that comes around, I'm sure he didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. But Jeff didn't pitch a bitch and say, why, why? He said, well, thank you very much. And he went on. Because I think Jeff has enough irons in the fire. He can survive it anyway. You know he owns a minor league uh, baseball team. No, I didn't. You didn't know that? No. I don't know which one, but he owns one. Because Jerry Lawler put on his Twitter one day, he said, hey, I come here to sign – do this signing here. They found out that Jeff Jarrett owns the team, <laughs> but I had heard that, but, but I think Jerry was the first one to uh, verify it. And he just did it on a Twitter. Now, whether that's true or not, uh, I don't know, but I, I, I do know that Jeff was very interested in arranging signings at some of these uh, minor league ballparks around the country. And one thing I've said about Jeff, he is a great, salesman. I told him one day, I said, Jeff, you could sell a dying man, a health club membership. (laughs) And he laughed because he can, because he's a good talker and he's very engaging and he's approachable and he's sociable. And, but I think he will come out of this fine. He has a house in Hendersonville, Tennessee, outside Nashville where all the country music stars live. And I used to go to his house when we do creative for TNA. The house is huge, sits right on a lake. And I think it was valued then at 750000 I think it's valued now at $3 million. It's got to be. Sits right on the lake, beautiful house, upstairs. He's, he's put an outside part. So Jeff's done very well for himself. And I think getting released by WWE – I don't think it hurt him a bit. I think it may have helped him. So good luck to everybody. Good luck to Triple H. Good luck to Road Dog because he's got a lot of knowledge that he can put put in put to work and Jeff because you know I think he'll be fine. Mm. Uh, I wanted to bring up two things actually. Uh, one, I, uh, I I didn't email him for this reason, but I messaged Road Dog and also uh, for another reason because I'd just done an interview with him, and I also said because it was I think it was like the day after Vince McMahon had retired. And the first thing I said was, uh, well, I'll be seeing you in WWE in two weeks. 
And it pretty much mm-hmm. came exactly true. I couldn't believe I guessed that one right. And the other one is Jeff Jarrett has been the boss for so long. And I've been self-employed similarly for over a dozen years now. I mean, I can't imagine how unbelievably difficult it would be for me to get up again, do nine to five or whatever the hour office hours are and go work for someone else again. So maybe that played a part in it as well. Well, he was traveling again. And he's a little older now. I think, I don't know how old Jeff is. Check, see how old Jeff is. Will do. He's like 54, 55. How old is he? He is. He was born in 67, so 55. 55. Okay. 55. And 55 is not a good age to get up and go, go traveling out of the country. He could do it. He's still in good shape. But this could have been one of the best, not the best thing that happened to him, but I don't think it hurts him at all. I really don't. Cause I think if something's not happening, he'll make it happen. And he, I think these last 10 years, since he, he left TNA, I think it's been very productive for him. Mm-hmm. I think more people know him now than knew him before. So, but good luck to him. 